Comma.ai, the self-driving startup founded by George Hotz, Geo Hotz, you may know him by. Uh, you remember them. They withdrew from the U.S. market upon receiving a NHTSA special order last month. Well, now they have a new plan. The Comma Neo is an open source robotics research platform aimed at makers who want to convert their own vehicles into self-driving cars. So it's kind of similar to what they were doing, but maybe a little bit more empowered on the actual maker, per, you know, person that wants to try and tackle it themselves. The hardware and software is available on GitHub, and the guide reveals that the system is actually running off of a OnePlus 3 Android smartphone uh, for, quote, easy development using you know Linux and Android as the platform. Uh, of choice. The cost of all the required hardware to build this, including that's like a, a 3D printed model that you can you know, print out and everything, runs $700. And basically, it replaces the rear view mirror in your car. So you take the rear view mirror out, you slide that in, and uh, the camera on the OnePlus 3 is what's being used to analyze the road and all of the different, you know, the changing conditions, lane assignment, all that kind of stuff, um, cars, and uh, you know, send those signals to the rest of the car. So, do we think this is just another way for Geo Hot to avoid the regulations of self-driving cars? It sounds like that is the case because he says, you know, in, in my reading, it sounds like what he was saying is like those NHTSA requirements only really apply if we have a consumer product that we're trying to get out in the market, but this is really kind of open sourcing this. Mm -hmm. uh, and so putting, you know, the control in the hands of people uh, who, who just want to kind of jump into it and see, see what they can do with all this. Right. Because I don't like, know if that's a good or bad thing, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm going to say it's a bad thing. <laughs> I'm going to say like, yeah, you guys and your Linux machines, I love you. And you play around with it and you know, you figure out and it's possibly safer. It's possibly better. Possibly. But possibly not. And I don't know. I mean, I I think that I would like to see more rather than less regulations uh, when you're talking about self-driving cars. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know enough about the the law to to know whether if if a maker, an individual who isn't selling a product, isn't, you know, just literally is working on their own vehicle to turn it into self-driving, if they have some sort of inherent um, capability of just going out on the road. I don't think so. Mm. Burke, that's a great word for this, liability. <laughs> you know, what is the liability for? I mean, it sounds like comma, it sounds like what G George Hotz is, is saying in this move is that it removes, it absolves comma of that liability. Mm -hmm. Does that then fall in the hands of the person who's putting this together? Mm -hmm. um, is there any law on the book that actually restricts someone from putting this together, installing it on their Acura or Honda Civic, and just using it. I have to imagine there must be. Well, or maybe I mean, it doesn't exist yet. That, that's the thing. Like these laws, I mean, that's what we talked about with the auto uh, self-driving truck. Like there were laws in the books that said that you can, you have to have a person in the cab of the truck, a self-driving truck. And they broke all those laws right. knowingly because they knew there was no punishment for the law, for the breaking the laws. Like the laws were there, but there was no punishment. So that's how... Auto got you know this eighteen wheeler barreling down the freeway in Nevada, and you then like got, it or not. yeah, and then yeah. was sold to Uber. So yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think um, I also think this story is one about uh, Elon Musk versus George Hotz because mm -hmm. I mean Elon Musk is such a renegade and he broke a bunch of rules, and now he's the old guy. And George Hotz is like, hey, uh, I like your autopilot. I'm gonna open source it, you know. And basically, they have this ongoing feud. Um, and this is part of that too. And it's just like when, you know, it's like a, you know, Gates and Jobs sort of thing. It's it's like, it's so, it's just like an age old story where you just feel like uh, George Hotz is focusing as much on getting self-driving cars on the road as he is on just like sticking it to Elon Musk for some reason. Yeah, and just kind of shining a, a spotlight on himself and his work because he's definitely a very like dazzly kind of guy. You know, mm -hmm. he, I think he really enjoys kind of being in the spotlight when it comes to this kind of stuff. Just watch an interview and you'll realize he enjoys being in that interview and being the focus of it. Um, yeah, I mean, Hotz has said that only Tesla Autopilot is more advanced than the Comma AI platform. I'm not sure that I buy it, barring any actual, you know, um, experience with the, with the hardware and comparing them side by side. But I have to imagine Google with its 
hordes of teams that that they've been working years on this kind of stuff probably has something that's as good if not better than common ai but i suppose i don't actually know that for sure uh but just a hunch and uh i i guess the commercialization aspect of this uh george hot says would come with deals with aftermarket um equipment makers to possibly you know uh bring neo into these aftermarket systems and i suppose that means comma wouldn't be doing that and that would be the difference somebody else would have to deal with it with mm -hmm. all of the nitsa stuff it's true that pesky nitsa stuff <laughs> well i feel like it would do people. uh it would do us good to like go back in history and look at like henry ford and like what happened when cars were going on the road like were there's these were they breaking rules left and right in order to get you know what we have today right if anyone yeah. is an expert at uh, automotive history, especially the beginning, email us at tnt at twit.tv because yeah. we probably should, we should look at the history before we, you know. For sure. Maybe it worked in the past and it'll work today. Four score. <laughs> yes. Seven minutes ago.